All right, so good day class. Um, welcome again to another episode of Management 101. And we are more than halfway through in our semester in terms of lessons. So for today, our lesson is about planning and decision making. Okay, so yeah, before uh, I proceed with this, I'm going to give you an assignment. All right, so I'm going to post or I've already sent you the link to your the to the Google Drive wherein you will upload your assignment to answer this uh, following questions, diba? Uh, for most, ano muna yung idea ninyo about planning? Magplano, ganyan. So, meron ba kayong plano ngayon sa buhay? Diba? Or you're taking um, every day, one day at a time. Alright, so regardless of, kindly answer this um, following questions in two to three sentences, um, answer the following. Or if you want really a paragraph or an essay na as in ilang pages yan. In two to three sentences, um, answer, it can be written or it can be um, through the use of word, diba? How do you see yourself one year from now? How do you see yourself three years from now? How do you see yourself 10 years from now? So you can type this in or in Microsoft Word or you can just um, write it down and then take a picture and then upload it in our common Google Drive. There, but don't forget to, of course, write your name, then section, and the date when you will pass your assignment. So next is, this is what you call the Ikigai diagram, guys. It is a Japanese um, word, Ikigai, all right? And yung letter P sa gitna, ano, parang um, there are different factors at the center of it. Yung, di ba, you have your passion, your mission, your vocation, then your profession. At the center of everything, that's where your core lies, actually. Purpose, rather. This letter P is your purpose. Um, at this moment, do you already know your purpose? Why you are here? Sometimes, I also ask my question, what's my purpose in life? Why am I still alive? Ganyan. So, um, ang gagawin nyo, kindly download this, and then you can write it, or you can... Um, enter or input some words here. Um, things that you love, you love doing, and then the world needs it. You will be paid for it. Okay? And then you are great at it. So you love it. Ako, I love baking. I love um, cooking, eating, ganyan, sleeping. Um, I love talking or sharing um, sharing things to my friends or peers. I love also to listen somehow, pero dapat active listening, hindi passive listening. Yeah, the world needs it. Ayan. So sabi ko, ang purpose ko sa buhay ay ano, to my mere presence is a blessing to the world. So the world needs it. My presence, totoo naman eh, um, siguro yung pagiging optimistic. Of course, there are times rin naman na uh, medyo nadadown tayo. So, pero the world needs it based on your character, your um, personality, sa tingin nyo, ano yung kailangan ng mundo. And then, ito, you will be paid for it. Um, right now, my profession is uh, a teacher or an academician, educator, shaping the minds that shape the nation. So, you will be paid for it. Or if you are, although your major, for example, is agriculture, but you are very good as a graphic artist, di ba? So, or photography, video making. So you can be paid for it. And then you really are great at it. So you can be, um, ano yung ilalagay mo dito? There has to be five or ten factors here. You are really great at it. I am somehow spontaneous. I speak out my mind. But of course, there are advantages and disadvantages of that. So... Um, the intersection between the things you are great at and things that you love, that's your passion. And then the intersection between you love it or them the, and the world needs it, that's your mission. And then you will be paid for it, the world needs it, that's your profession. And then your vocation, you will be paid for it and you are great at it. So that's your vocation. So sabi nga, diba, lagi ko sinasabi sa inyo, choose a job or something 
um, productive that you want to do for the rest of your life na hindi ka mapapagod talaga. I remember I have a batchmate from college, agribusiness major kami, pero um, he went to Accenture and became a software engineer. Of course, initially junior software engineer, senior software engineer, perhaps program manager na rin siya or project leader, etc. ngayon. So, many, many moons ago. So, ano, ayan, sinerge ko yung ano, ibig sabihin ng ikigai. What does it mean? It's a Japanese um, term which means uh, reason for being, di ba? Parang yun yung mission mo. Yun nga. To put it simply in one word, it's your purpose. So, I hope, hindi pala I hope, kindly do this class because this is part of your assignment and the submission to your common, to our common Google Drive will be on or before April 16. So I'll be uploading this thingy today or um, early of April 15. Okay, so let's proceed with our lesson. I hope to be really making this fast. All right, so what are our objectives for the, today's session in planning? To define what planning is, of course, and to determine the process of planning along with this, yan, di ba? And dami dami. Explain the importance of planning, discuss the type of plans according to breadth, time frame and frequency of use, differentiate strategic plans, STO, strategic, tactical, and operational plans, explain what management by objectives is, or MBO, and then characterize a good goal versus objective, which is more long-term in terms of time frame. And then we also have to discuss the contingency factors in planning, the contemporary issues, and the strategic planning process. This is very important because all organizations do this. Actually, even in your respective organizations, you do this. All right. Um, what else? Explain the different planning tools and techniques. Okay. So. Yeah. In your head, answer that question. What is... Um, Planning. Diba? Magplano, ganyan. So planning in business management is what? The most fundamental function of management, often referred to as the primary management function. So fundamental, when we speak of it, it is the basic or the foundation. All right? So what is the fundamental of your being? Mga tipong ganyan, mga existential questions. Sometimes yung mga existential questions, sila yung ano eh. Uh, mahirap sagutin, di ba? And then goals and plans, di ba? In planning, we have these so-called goals and plans. Goals are the desired future state or st statements of what an organization wants to achieve. Plans are the blueprints for meeting goal, uh, those goals. So basically in planning, di ba, we strategize. We have this foresight for the organization, di ba? Um, sabi nga ni one of the management gurus, Dr. Stephen Covey, begin with an end in mind. So meaning that you have that desired state, okay? So I thought when I was in college, after 10 years or early 20s, ikakasal na ako. Pero up until now, hindi pa rin. But that's okay because maybe God has other plans. So um, in planning for businesses, you specify the resources, tasks, activities inside the organization. So goals, those are more long-term, meaning the future state. Kaya nga ngayon ang mga nauuso yung mga sustainability plans, ng kahit anong organization, intergenerational continuity, mga tipong ganyan. So, um, there. So, sabi nga nila, people never plan to fail, they only fail to plan. Tama? Tama or tama? Um, kayo, right now, why are you studying? Why are you still studying in the university? Have you ever thought or asked yourself? Probably because you want a better future for yourself and your family. Kasi ang naging training sa atin dito sa Philippines, parang ano, oh, you study well so that you can become a good employer, eh, employee in the future, parang worker. Hindi yung entrepreneurial talaga yung, ano, um, yung perspective. But it has to be, alam niyo yun, may foresight na dapat meron kang pupuntahan. Diba? Pero I know when I was in my early 20s, I dilly dallied. So meaning that parang come what may, parang yolo, you only live once. Pero at some point, 
especially I, as I was aging, parang I sought for something more constant or permanent. And sure enough, di ba, my longest running job so far is um, in UPLB. Ayun. So in businesses, ganun din, parang what is the intended future of the organization. So these are some of the business goals and social goals. If you have noticed yung business goals, it's more of yung parang economic yung datingan niya. But sa social, nandun yung ano, for the well-being of the society, the employees, your internal customers or your employees, and the external, yung stakeholders mo, not just your customers, but also the community at large. And um, also, nandito rin yung sa environmental goals, ganyan. So, it is more cohesive and integrative, yung mga social goals. So, mga social entrepreneurs nandito. Question, are social enterprises do not make any profit? Yes or no? Answer that question. Okay, so the answer is, our social enterprises does not make profit. No. Parang ano, they actually make profit. Of course, how can they sustain their the operations of their organizations? It, it's not like a charitable institution. Only that yung mga social enterprises, whatever earnings they have, um, they give a large portion of it to the society. So one example, Agria. Agria um, actually is founded by Ms. Cherry Atilano. She is, I think, the UN ambassador, ambassadress for food security here in the Philippines. And um, she's a graduate of agriculture in BSU, Visayas State, State University. And she introduced that one island economy concept wherein she put up a farmer field school na integrative. Nandun yung how to grow crops organically. Meron din silang livestock. I'm not sure kung meron silang fishery, but then yung mga best practices when it comes to agriculture. Actually, we also have a graduate who's uh, using the digital platform or the Facebook. I don't know if you have heard of that. Again, founded by Mr. Um, Kevin, Kev Cuevas. So he is into educating um, people across all strata in the Philippines how to do um, agriculture and at the same time, yung marketing din, parang yung supply chain, um, tuhog niya. Okay? So, planning is the conscious, systematic process of making decision about goals and activities. It is also directed and controlled by managers. Diba? Um, I don't know if I have mentioned that the rise and fall of an organization is dependent on the manager. We have discussed that. And planning provides a clear map to follow in their future activities. Kasi di ba, kahit naman tayo, di ba, sa lessons natin ngayon, ano bang plano? Di, lahat na ibinigay early on. Pero kasi, uh, you do it marikondo, um, part by part. Kasi ang hirap di mag, i-absorb lahat-lahat. Um, kapag halimbawa, isang bagsakan nandyan. So, ito yan. Okay. So, importance of planning, it defines an organization's goals and the means for achieving these goals. All right, what else? Give the organization legitimacy. What do you, what do you mean by legitimacy? Um, it's putting like uh, an authority or a, uh, a clear identity, okay? Give the organization legitimacy to its stakeholders, meaning an identity to its stakeholders. Note, hindi lang customers. When you speak of stakeholders, everybody, customers, your employees, um, the greater community, the government sectors, the non-government sectors. Remember, diba, we have discussed the different forms of business organization and um, we identify these organizations, whether they are corporation, cooperative, partnership, or what, single proprietorship. So that's the giving legitimacy means I, giving identity to the organization serves to motivate and increase commitment among employees. Diba, lagi nga sinasabi sa inyo, yung vision mission of the organization should be parallel to your personal vision and mission so that you won't get tired. And even if you get tired, you go back to that purpose. Why? So sometimes when I get tired, sabi ko, ano nga ba yung ano, motto ng UP aside from honor and excellence, maybe in an academician, shaping the minds that shape the nation. But of course, diba, lagi ko nga sinasabi sa inyo, your external environment will not adjust for you. We will adjust to our external environment. We cannot just have this entitlement that I want this, I want that. Because yun, um, it's difficult. I read an article in US that 
we are having difficulty hiring fresh graduates. Why? Because they are used to of being told what to do in the university perhaps or because that was part of the training. And before kasi talaga, ano kami, sink or swim. Um, I just hope that um, ganun din yung maging training ninyo na uh, you do or devise ways on how to efficiently do do things. Of course, you still have to respect your superiors or bosses, but um, you have to be resourceful, resourceful, efficient, and productive. So serves as roadmaps or guides to action towards a targeted outcome, serves as basis for decision-making and reduces uncertainty of decisions and provides a set of standard of performance or performance criteria. This actually goes na sa controlling, but during planning, we have to set that. Diba nga, we have said that planning is the most fundamental because it affects the organ, uh, organizing, leading, and controlling management functions. Now, what are the characteristics of Let's move to the well-defined goals. Di ba lagi natin narinig yung smart? Ano yung smart? Simple or specific rather. Specific, measurable. M is for measurable. E is attainable. R is realistic. And T is for time-bound. So those are the smart goals. Pero sometimes may mga dinidebunk-debunk sila. Pero right now, it's still the smart. Okay? So for example, Jollibee. Um, this is the vision of Jollibee. I think they were able to reach this because they still remain as the number one fast food restaurant in the Philippines. To be uh, the largest homegrown quick service restaurant chain in Asia by 2020. But part of this um, vision actually is also to put up Jollibee stores in different uh, ASEAN countries. Diba? I'm not sure kung sa Australia meron na, but states, we have um, a number of Jollibee stores. And prior to putting up or establishing Jollibee store, they also have to determine, to, to do market study, whether there's a significant foot traffic who will patronize the, ano, the product, of course. You know what? Filipinos are everywhere. When I had the chance to visit Australia, because my brother is um, residing there right now, a few years back, um, sabi ko, grabe ang liblib ng lugar na to. Meron pa bang tao nakatira dito? Sabi niya, ate, you won't believe meron ditong Filipino. Kasi di ba, uso sa kanila yung mga, meron kasing areas doon na may mga caravan. Yung sasakyan na nandun na yung bahay. So, imagine that. Parang sa ko, uy, ang cool nun na. Parang nomadic, nomadic life. Pero, there are certain um, locations na ano assigned para dun sa mga caravan. So, kaya, kaya kapag inabot ka ng gabi during traveling, edi yun. Di ba, kung dati, yung mga forefathers natin, parang naglalakad sila, nag-hunt. So ngayon, yun yung parang ano, modern, modern day form. Kinoin ko siya as modern day form of um, nomadic life. Alright. So, moving on. What are the vision criteria and the mission components? So, we have the vision and mission. Parang yung vision, yun yung ano, foresight mo, kung saan pupunta yung organization mo, yung mission mo, yun yung reason for being. Di ba yung assignment is um, yung purpose, yun yung reason for being. The same manner with the organization. Vision and mission. So, mas um, general yung vision, yung mission. Parang binibigyan mo na ng kaluluwa yung kung ano yung gusto mo mangyari dun sa organization mo. So, the vision criteria, it has to be future-focused, directional. So, when you put up your own companies in the future, organizations, these are the things that you have to, to, to do. Okay? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, I can be part of the think tank, but for the implementation, medyo poor ako dun. And I admit that it's something that I have to um, work on. Okay? Mission components, you have, ano ba yung mga, um, ano ba yung intention mo or gusto mo mangyari for your customers? What is your product? Okay? Who will be the markets ng produkto mo? What kind of technology are you using? Mga tipong ganyan. Guys, you don't have to, um, kumbaga, include all of this vision and mission criteria or components, but rather yung majority based on um, the industry you we where your business is operating. So, kunwari, to Toyota Global Vision. Toyota will lead the way to the future of mov mobility and reaching lives around the world with the safest and most responsible ways of moving people. Through our commitment to quality, constant innovation, and respect for the planet, we aim to exceed expectations and be rewarded with a smile. We will meet our challenging goals by engaging the talent and passion of people who believe there is always a better way. Guys, I was just happy that last year, I don't know if it has been existing in the Philippines, the hybrid car. Have you heard of that? 
a combination of the fuel and um, parang uh, green energy use, if I'm not mistaken, kung may solar panel. Ewan ko kung may solar panel siya. Pero it's a kind of hybrid car and it costs around 2.5 million pesos if we're going to convert it. So I just read that it's available now locally and it costs around 2.5 million. I think right now that's my dream car. For now, who knows in a few years time, di ba? Um, the flying cars will be made the flying cars with using green energy will be made available. <laughs> Why not, di ba? So, yon. It's really very interesting. Now, ano, question, di ba yun nga yung vision ni ano, ni Toyota? Future of mobility, tapos, yung safety nandiyan din, di ba? Quality, constant innovation, and respect for the planet. So, ayan, safest and most responsible ways of moving people. Question, dito ba, sa palagay nyo, this is a Toyota car, if I'm not mistaken, this is Vios. Buhay or patay yung mga pasahero niyan? Buhay. Okay, kasi kinlaim ng Toyota that they are following the integrated safety management concept. But I think it was a miracle na buhay yung mga tao doon. Kasi parang ang explanation doon, kapag halimbawa nagkaroon ng collision, okay, so instead na makrash talaga, kasi yung ibang kotse parang nakakrash na pa ganyan, parang pag gumanon siya, babalik, parang mag, magiging elastic ulit. Parang ganun, yung sinabi. I don't know how true is that, but you can research on the internet and read or share in our class um, what really exactly happened there. But they attribute it, di ba? Kaya walang namatay na tao because of their integrated safety management concept. And of course, it is an engineering task or job. So, ayan o, di ba? Dito, meron ditong pre-collision system. Alert, pre-collision, brake assistant types, regular type, etc. So, di ba, meron nga rin yung mga airbags na nauso. Pero kasi, kapag uh, adult ka na, okay siya. Pero kapag halimbawa, bata, mahirap talaga siya. And that's why, dito lang sa atin uso talaga. Pero sa ibang bansa, yung mga bata, nandun sila sa likod. They cannot ride in front of seat. There. So, integrated management safety concept of Toyota. So, now let's move on naman to the levels of goals or plans and their importance. Okay, we have this so-called the STO. So, note guys that if we try to associate yung STO or strategic, tactical, operational, um, these strategic goals or plans are being what? Crafted or thought upon by the senior management or the top level management organization as a whole. And then for the tactical, kung ano man yung naplano dito, parang ano, top to bottom approach, i-implement ng mga middle level managers until it reaches the what? Lower level manager, managers to um, implement the operational goals. For instance, di ba, there's a new technology na nahanap si Jollibee to, um, to save on frying the crispy fried chicken. Okay, that comes from, for example, Europe, ganyan. So, it will be ano, evaluated and thought upon by the, by the top level management until, of course, di ba we have the middle level managers and then pag nasa branch na siya, sila yung mag implement So dito yon yung operational plans or goals. Okay? Now, I hope that's clear. So again, the task of the um, senior managers are to set the, to, uh, to oversee or over parang kumbaga to plan out as a whole for the company. Okay, so those are strategic goals and then the tactical plans and then the operational goals. So that's the top to bottom approach. Bottoms up approach naman if, kunwari, at the branch level, kunwari sa UP system, di ba, meron UP constituents and UPLB is one of the UP constituents. If, for example, prior to implementing yung SAIS, parang there will be consultations at the department level among the faculty members and then the department chair will air the whatever concern has been discussed at the college level. And the college level, um, headed by the dean, the dean will convene with the um, executives, kumbaga, um, of the university, PLB, along with the chancellor and the vice chancellors. And then the chancellor will air the concern when he has a meeting to the um, UP president. So that's the bottoms-up approach. 
Okay, so I hope that's clear. Levels of planning strategic plan covers the entire organization and sets overall organization goals. So when we speak of dati ang long term, mga 5 to 10 years ngayon, ano na mga 3 years, more than 3 years. Operational plan covers specific units within the organization, sets unit or divisional organizational goals, shorter time frame, less than 3 years. Now guess what? Kapag sa short term na. Um, yung sa mga, actually, yung sa, di ba, operational nga, yung short term, ano na siya eh, parang few months to one year, ganun na siya kabili, especially management is really very dynamic, meaning ever-changing, di ba? So, when COVID happened, and it's still happening now, parang organizations had to retool or adjust their strategies. So, a strategic plan, identification of OTs, opportunities and threats, evaluation of present situation, goal setting, determination of premises, and matching process. Imagine, di ba, in your own respective organizations, sororities or fraternities, you're doing this um, strama or strategic management, wherein the top level manage or the, ano ba tawag dito, yung mga officers of the organization will convene to meet and discuss their plans parang for the whole year, di ba? And then for the operational plan, nandiyan yung programming and budgeting. Okay? So, tactical plans are a set of procedures for translating broad strategic goals and plans into specific goals and plans that are relevant to a distinct portion of the organization. And um, they are the bridge to the different functional areas. For example, sa marketing, finance, um, HR, operations or production. Now, operational planning is the process of identifying the specific procedures and processes required at lower levels of the organization. So, STO, strategic, tactical, operational. To be fully create, uh, effective, the organization's strategic, tactical, or STO goals and plans must be aligned. They have to be consistent, mutually supportive, focus on achieving the common purpose and direction. Para kumbaga, iisa yung galawan. Alam nyo, may tinatawag na ano eh, company or corporate culture na iisa yung galawan na kahit you are different individuals, iisa yung galaw ng mga tao. Brought about by the training na rin. Okay? By the training and through experience, nandun din siya. But we have different management styles din eh. Diba? So before you can become a boss, you have to be, of course, a rank and file employee. Alam nyo ba, yung kin or mga anak at saka apo ni Henry C. Senior, from ano, bottoms up talaga sila na they had to become, grabe yung humility lang, they had to become an intern before they can ano, really assume a higher level position so that they can better appreciate better appreciate the, the company and the title that they have, of course. And of course, sabi ko nga sa inyo, most important resource in an organization is your people. Alam nyo yun, ang hirap kasi kapag nagpapayabangan within the organization. Wala kayo para para ma-achieve na maayos. So, yun. Pero, well, anyway, ang mga organizations naman, kanya-kanya lang yun ng yabang and highs and lows. Okay? Now, let's move to the management by objective. So, we have the planning type or approaches, one of which is the MBOs or management by objectives. Objective setting at different levels, units, individuals. Objective set is used as basis for performance. So what are the four activities under MBO? So we have the goal setting, starts from the top to bottom, developing action plans or courses of action, re reviewing progress, and appraising overall performance. So dito, di ba, dito na yung ano, um, implement na, during the implementation, ito yung sa uh, controlling aspect na. Alright. Yan, implementing to. Dito sa planning mismo talaga. So goal setting, developing action plans, reviewing progress and appraising overall performance or feedback. So what what are the other types pa? Single-use plans, standing plans, and contingency plans. For example, single-use plans developed to achieve objectives that are not likely to be repeated in the future. For example, centennial year celebration of UPLB, it's an annual event. And for instance, kahit kayo, di ba, nagpapakanda kayo ng quiz contest yearly yon So, it is a single-use plan. Now, the standing plans are used to provide guidance for tasks that are performed repeatedly. So, kunwari, kumbaga, nandiyan na yung mga SOP, yung handbook, kunwari, UP handbook, um, policies, rules, procedures. Those are called the standing plans. And contingency plans, if this fails, what are we going to do? 
define scenarios or actions that are taken in cases of emergency. So right now we are on COVID. So um, before, yung mga nag-exist pa rin na um, mga may physical stores na kainan sa UPLB or within the vicinity of UPLB, they thrive right now because of online delivery. But had it not been because of that, I don't think they will thrive because wala nga tayo mga estudyante ngayon. And as I've shared with you, nag-close na nga yung KFC doon sa, sa atin. So I don't know how McDonald's, um, Jollibee, and um, what do you call this, um, Starbucks are thriving. Maybe they have a significant volume of customers. That's why they're thriving. And last year, I, I learned that Chow King is a brand of choice for I don't know, mga elderly. So, nagtatayag pa rin siya. Ibig sabihin, maraming mga elders sa, ano, within the UPLB. Okay? Contingency factors in planning. Um, higher level do most of the strategic plan. Lower level do most of the operational plan. So, that's what we have to remember. And they have to adjust based on the degree of environmental uncertainty. Remember, during the early parts of the class, yung environmental uncertainty, the more uncertain the environment, the more flexible the plan should be. That's why, di ba, hindi kinaya ni Nokia ang changing, ano, rapid change in the environment. Kasi either you stay or you be called out from the industry. Yun lang yun eh. Yung Kodak, di ba, they have the, um, before yung developing of photographs through yung sa film. Pero ngayon, pinasok din nila kasi yun sa photocopy and ano, sa printing. Pero in terms of positioning, kasi di ba, they are known for this. Perhaps they could have um, developed or become um ano bang tawag dito become more productive of their core so wala no man is an island naman eh parang we all need one another in order to thrive and actually um when you put up your own organization you hire the best people if you can't do best yung kung magaling kayo sa leadership or um overseeing the organization then um it's up to you to uh hire good people to do the job. For example, ako naiisip ko na magkaroon sana ng ano, um, game-based learning tool for the department. But for the technical side, I don't know it. So that's why I have to form a team because of course, I need a developer, I need an IT expert, and aside from the funding. So that's where I should come. Parang for the funding of how it can be implemented. All right? So, length of future commitments plans should extend far enough to meet those commitments when plans are developed. All right. So, criteria for good goal. Na sabi na natin to yung sa smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. What are the contemporary issues in planning? Criticism in planning. Planning may create rigidity. Plans cannot be developed for dynamic environment. Kasi criticism in planning, planning may create rigidity kasi not everybody will agree. For example, you're the top level management and this is the plan that you have proposed. Not everybody will agree. Alright? So plans cannot be developed for dynamic environment. Formal plans cannot replace intuition and creativity. Planning focuses monitors attention on today's competition, not on tomorrow's survival. Formal planning reinforces success which may lead to failure, just planning is not enough. Diba, sabi nga nila, you can never be prepared for anything. So, kung halimbawa, gagawa ka yung contingency plan um, for your own organization in the future or if you have a family-owned business right now, from ano yan, B to Z, B to Z. Or pwede rin, ano, at least two to three alternatives, diba? So, strategic planning defined. I think we are halfway through. Plus, Please bear with me. A set of procedures for making decisions about the organization's long-term goals and strategies. So strategic goals are major targets or end results relating to the organization's long-term survival value and growth. Strategy is a pattern of actions and resource allocations designed to achieve the organization's goal. So strategic planning is trauma. Um, I remember before when we went to um, Tabuk Kalinga, um, a colleague, a friend and colleague actually brought me and other two friends to Tabukalinga to give a business development planning or stra strategic man planning for a cooperative. So it starts with the vision and mission setting, okay, and it comes from the members of the cooperative. They were divided into several groups. Sometimes, um, yung mga pen and paper, <laughs> pero ang ginamit namin nun, pencil pen and ano, Manila paper, uh, they really are very helpful. So if we have the, had we have the physical class, 
um, I would ask you for the case analysis to do that. Parang I will give you early on the case, business case, case, and then you read it, and then you analyze it ahead of time, and then you're going to put everything dun sa Manila paper. I think it's a good activity. Okay, kaya nga, sabi ko sa inyo, despite of the online learning, you still meet your, what, groupmates. Okay? So historically, strategic planning emphasized a top-down approach. Senior executive executives and specialized planning units develop goals and plans for the entire organization. So today, senior executives um, increasingly are involving managers throughout the organization in the strategy formation process. Ayon. So what is strategic management? Decisions and actions used to formulate and implement strategies that provide a superior fit um, between the organization and its environment to achieve organizational goals. So STRAMA, ito yung tinatawag na STRAMA. Management concerns strategically position the organization within the environment. Alam nyo, madugo tong ano, STRAMA kasi nagiging source of conflict din siya because why? Because they are fighting for what? Budget. Parang sa ano rin, di ba? Sa Philippine government, yan, office of the president, then he, she, it, they. The office of the president will allocate the budget for different departments. Um, nakakaiyak lang. Alam nyo, I, I analyzed the budget for the Department of Agriculture when in fact, it's, iba food security is very important. Less than 10 billion peso yung allocation. Ang pinakamarami ay with the incumbent the incumbent um, administration ay DPWH. Imagine that. Well, anyway, it has to be a balance of everything. Mm. Kung, eh, ikaw na maging presidente, pero kung, kung meron man sa inyo magiging el presidente, ayusin ninyo ang inyong trabaho. Parang always think of um, the common good or welfare, not just for yours. Kasi in the first place, guys, sabi nga, money and power are the acid test of character. You give a person money and power, boom, that's the time you will see kung ano talaga yung karakter niya. Why are we so focused on things that are fleeting? Anyway, importance of strategic management provides organizations with a unified mission and overall direction, helps um, organizations to cope better in uncertain environments and establishes a game plan or roadmap for the organizations. Okay, so we'll proceed later on, a little later, dun sa mga strategies na mismo. Yan, levels of strategies. We have the so-called grand strategy, Okay, so what is the grand strategy? It is the general plan of action by which a firm achieves its long-term objectives. So if we have the different levels of planning, diba, this is associated to the diba, FEO strategy. So growth strategies, intensive growth, integrative growth, and diversification. When we speak of intensive growth, okay, ito yung mga examples niya, guys. Um, we have the so-called backward integration, forward integration, horizontal integration, and conglomerate integration. When we speak of backward integration, for example, the core business of uh, yung cooperative na inanalyze ko ay feed production, feed milling. So to backwardly in integrate means what? Gaining control of your inputs. Ano ba yung major input for uh, animal feed production, the yellow corn? So are you going to have a contract or memorandum of understanding or agreement with the cooperative who produces, with farmers, farmer cooperative members who produce um, yellow corn? Or are you going to have your own plantation of yellow corn? So something like that. Will it be more costly or will you save on that? So that's the backward integration. Remember, gaining control of your what? Inputs. Okay? And then how about for the forward market? Gaining control of your, ano bang ang market ng animal feeds? Eh di malamang mga farms. May it be backyard farm or commercial farm. Or they can also put up their own, what? Branch in different locations, di ba? Branch owned um, outlets. Okay, so that's the forward integration. That's what, that's the time you, what? Gain, gain control of your market, okay? Or customers. So do not forget that. I might um, ask that in the exam, okay? So for the, those are just some of the examples of the intensive growth. Now for the integrative growth, di ba na-discuss na natin to, yung market development, market penetration. Those are some of the strategies of integrative growth. And then diversification means producing different sets of products or services. 
um, in your own company. For example, di ba, um, GG Summit, Changgokong Way Summit, they are just not, they have URC or the Universal Rubina Corporation for the snacks, di ba? It's part of the agro-industry. They also have the Cebu Pacific. They also have the energy. Para katulad din ng San Miguel. So, for example, in diversification, they have this, actually, conglomerate na nga yung tawag sa kanila eh. And it's part of the, it can be a combination of different strategies, di ba? Intensive growth. Yung um, conglomerate, part siya ng intensive growth. So, for diversification, for example, um, URC, let's take muna, URC or Universal Rubina Corporation, they are the producer of what? Of healthy snacks, di ba? Of snacks. Mga Jack and Jill, if I'm not mistaken. Yung mga bread, sticks, etc. And they are, they are also the producer of C2. So, ibig sabihin, guys, um, pag halimbawa, di ba yun na nga yung mga pinuproduce nila? If they want to diversify, aside from C2, they will also produce other fruit juices. So, it's part of a diversification strategy. So, I hope we're clear on that. Stability strat strategy means pause strategy, maintain status quo, or grow slowly. Okay? So, for example, um, saturated na yung market, this can be um, applied. I don't know if Jollibee is on its stability strategy. I don't think so because they are into joint venture or partnership. So, let's assume, for example, yung Happy Cup na they have already saturated all the um, LGUs or municipalities in the Philippines parang they would um, employ a stability strategy and assess muna yung performance of the current number of branches nila. So, suppose. So, yun yung ano, um, example ng stability or post strategy. Retrenchment, downsizing or right sizing. Retrenchment, meaning ano, you're cutting out people. For example, in Erie, a few years back, they, um, they did this. Why? Because the external support or funding, kasi they they operate based on donations. Um, yung, yung Bill and Melinda Gates Fund, bumaba na. From what I heard, ha, parang kumbaga na, na transfer na to other areas yung kanilang, ano, yung kanilang support. Hindi na saray. So going through a period of forced decline by shrinking or liquidating current businesses right now, especially with the pandemic, a lot of businesses, especially the MSMEs, had downsized. Okay, or retrenched people. Actually, um, ERI is part of, it is an international non-government organization and it's part of a, an umbrella called CGIAR, the Consultative Group of International Agricultural Center, CTR. Okay, so um, for rice research, we have ERI. For corn, we have CMIT based in Mexico. Meron din sila sa grains, meron din sa hogs, etc. ILRI yung sa hogs, if I'm not mistaken. Now, so just to show you, these are some of the examples of the grand strategy. Okay, so the parameters here, we have the market growth and the competitive positioning. So it depends on where the company is positioned or your company. So if you were tasked to, um, for example, you were tasked to analyze the external environment and how do you fare in terms of your competitors, you can make use of this, um, actually, these parameters and advice suggest strategies based on where you are positioned dito sa quadrants na to. Diba? We have these four quadrants. So kapag ano, nandun kayo sa rapid market growth with strong competitive position, these are the strategies that you can um, employ. But then, guys, it also comes with the cost. So you also have to do the capital budgeting or the benefit cost analysis. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, if you're not really adept on it, you can um, hire people or ask for some friends to do it for you. All right? Now, yeah, strategic, man, uh, strategic planning process. This is what I want you to memorize or to assimilate by heart. So um, collectively, we have the three collective steps. Formulation, implementation, or evaluation, or five. Okay? So... We have here your external analysis, internal analysis. External, ito yung peste or peste ninyo based on the industry that you are in. And then internal analysis, yan yung sa corporation ninyo. So yung statement of purpose dito, it is yung sa corporation ninyo. And then um, based on your statement of purpose, dun kayo mag-create ng long-term goals. And then strategy development, evaluation, and selection, creation of policies and annual goals, result 
resource allocation and then you will do the controlling part, measure the what performance metrics and evaluation, and then the feedback. It will feedback doon sa inyong mission statement of purpose. Okay? So, step one. There are step six steps or seven dito. Anyway, identification of organizational mission goals and objectives. Mission is an organization's basic purpose and scope of operation. So, um, what do you have to answer? What is the reason for being in the business? Parang, personally, what is my reason for being? What is the reason of this business for existing? Ako kasi nirarationalize ko dati pag nahihirapan ako, sabi ko, parang ano bang purpose ko dito? Which is uh, quite wrong. In the first place, prior to signing the contract, you should have already thought kung bakit ka ba papasok sa organization na yun. So, anyway, moving on. Guys, let me just tell you that walang aayon palagi sa gusto ninyo. Parang, um, sometimes okay yung salary, um, okay yung trabaho nyo, pero hindi okay yung kasama. It's a bit difficult to stay. Kasi it depends on your um, where you put the weight. Kumbaga, so much weight. Kung, kung hindi naman ganun kalaki yung sweldo, pero okay naman yung trabaho at saka mga kasama, well then, perhaps I can survive better in that kind of organization. Anyway, so, mission states the organization's values, aspirations, and reason for existence. We have these factors or para, pe, parameters, okay, components of the mission statement. So, I think I've shown it early on in the slide. Okay. Okay, sample of a mission statement. SM, SM Development Corporation will realize its vision by um, ensuring that its home buyers enjoy the best value for their investment. So they have a provision of, for their customer after sales and maintenance service. So for that's for the service, delivering sustainable long-term growth and increasing shareholder value by exercising prudence in resource management, becoming an employer of choice, assisting and nurturing communities in which it operates by progressively building on its role as responsible corporate citizen. Actually, SMBC is a real estate um, business unit of um, SM. Pero I don't know how, uh, in terms of compensation, SM, parang nagre-reklamo nga yung, kunwari sa SM department store or mismo SM, nagre-reklamo yata kasi sila medyo mabab yung sweldo. Anyway, mission statement sample pa to serve tasting food, bringing the joy of eating to everyone, JFC or Jollibee Foods Corporation. URC is Universal Rubina Corporation. The customer's first choice in fun snacks. We are the dominant market leader in the Philippine snack foods industry. Our leading brands offer consumers the best in enjoyment, quality, value, and con convenience. Actually, sa mission statement, you can include there the QSCV, quality, service, customer, value. Okay? So... Step two, we have the external environment analysis. Manager should examine forces in the environment, such as the macroeconomic conditions and the industry environment. Our one critical task is forecasting future trends. Okay? So, di ba may mga tinatawag tayo mga AS or actuarial science. Alam ko malalaki yung mga swaldo niya, especially for sa mga insurance because, syempre, they have to make an informed decision um, doon sa tatakbuhin ng market. But note, guys, di ba, when we had a, a session with Sir Fitz Jimenez before, for example, sa stocks, increasing naman kasi talaga yan. So, your good analysis of your macro environment will spell somehow success for you if you're able to consolidate process and interpret the data right. Okay? Of course, you also have to make some um, rooms for error then, but make sure that those are um, revocable. Opportunities and threats should also be identified. So what, what are opportunities? Positive trends in the external environment, threats, negative trends in the external environment. For the step three, na na yung internal environment analysis, this kind of internal analysis provides strategic decision makers with an inventory of the organization's existing function skills and resources, as well as its overall performance. So you have to look into what the firm's resources and core competencies and a final area may include benchmarking. So this is the answer to the question, um, what is the other term for best practices that is benchmarking with other firms? Meaning that you, um, if you're operating in an insurance company, who is the best or the market leader here in the Philippines? If you're not the market leader, uh, you have to benchmark or compare what uh, they do best. 
in terms of the set parameters for the insurance company. So in terms of ano, customer base ba, in terms of profitability, in terms of payout, mga tipong ganyan. So there are parameters and it is unique to each industry. All right. So the idea is to concentrate our strength against our competitors' relative weakness. So that's what uh, one of our management gurus, Sir Bruce Henderson of Boston Consulting Group, suggested. BCG, there is also a matrix for this. Um, it depends on the current position of the organization, what kind of strategy you will be implementing. So BCG matrix, Boston Consulting Group matrix. So strengths and weaknesses are identified through evaluation of resources and organizational capabilities. Resources are assets used by the organization to develop, manufacture, and deliver products or services to their customers. Capabilities are skills and abilities in doing work activities needed in their business. Strengths, what an organization does well, or any unique resources that it has and weakness, what an organization does not do well, and resources that are lacking. Actually, guys, you can skim with this video presentation there. So SWOT, once you have your external and internal environment analysis, you will be able to come up with a SWOT matrix. It's again another management tool. Okay, by completing steps two and three, managers will be able to yield the SWOT. Okay, once SWOT has been completed, SWOT matrix, management will be able to begin the, to formulate strategy, diba? Remember, SWOT is a management tool used to yield or derive your strategy for the organization. So formulation of strategies, we have the so-called corporate strategies, business strategies, and functional strategies. Kung kanina, SDO ngayon, CBF. So it determines corporate strategies, determines what businesses the company is in and should be in, wants to be in, and what it wants to do with those businesses. Actually, for the grand strategy, you can use make use of it in the corporate strategies. Business strategies, major actions of a business to compete in a particular industry or market functional. You can do your research regarding different strategies for this. Functional strategies, strategies adopted by each functional area in the organization, and it is unique for that particular um, functional area. For example, some marketing, market dev development, it can be applied by the marketing department, but how will it make sense for the um, operations or production department, mga tipong ganyan, probably it can also make sense sa HR, but how concretely, all right? Now, um, some examples of the corporate strategy, yan. We have the concentration, concentric, diversification, vertical integration. These are just some of the management terms. Concentration means a strategy employed for an organization that operates a single business and competes in a single industry. Like Marinels, yan talaga yung naisip ko. They just focus on producing the best tasting, well, at least to me, um, uh, skyrocketing ano, sugar. Hindi naman masyado. Yung cake nila hindi, eh, yung icing lang. Um, they have the best icing for me or best cake for me in Las Banos. They started in Las Banos and then they have a branch in SM Calamba. And then the main branch uh, has been put up in um, Bae, if I'm not mistaken. So concentration, they just focus on producing the best cake in town. So concentric diversification strategy used to add new businesses that produce related products or are involved in related markets and activities. Okay, so ang isa sa mga ano, naiisip ko talaga dito si Jollibee kasi diba in-acquire niya in-acquire niya na in-acquire yung mga competitors niya like Mang Inasal, Deli France um, actually in-acquire din niya si Chow King okay, recently si Yoshinoya so si Burger King alam ko sa kanila rin, ewan kung pinagbenta na ni Jollibee dyan, so add new or acquire new businesses related to the products that they are producing. Kunwari si Procter & Gamble, si Unilever, they are focusing on the products for diba, home care, mga tipong ganyan. Ayan, vertical integration, gaining control of your inputs and your outputs. Gaining control of your um, source of raw materials and your market. So the acquisition or development of new businesses that produce parts or components of the organization's product. It can be backward or it can be forward. So an example of business strategy yan, tinatawag na low-cost or cost leadership strategy. Lagi ko naiisip dito si CDR King. is a strategy that an organization uses to build competitive advantage by being efficient and offering a standard, no-fill, 
Frail's products cost leadership. Before yung piece of fare ni Cebu Pacific and other airline companies actually followed it. So probably ngayon, di ba, sa Lazada and Shopee, yan, mga usong-uso yung mga cost leadership strategies na yan. I, I remember when I was looking at Instagram, the price at Instagram was twice the price um, if you compare it in Lazada and Shopee. Eh di mag Lazada and Shopee na lang ako yan. Nabudol ka na ba? online shopping. So, differentiation strategy is a strategy ah, hindi ko talaga inakala nga abot ako dito. Actually, yung Gcash, it started more than two decades. Inakala nyo ba naaabot kayo sa online shopping? ba? Diba? Parang never. But then, that's how we do business right now. Differentiation strategy is a strategy that an organization uses to build competitive advantage by being unique in its industry or market segment along one or more dimensions. Can you think of a company that actually um, employs a differentiation strategy? Sabihin nyo si Apple, ganyan. Bukod kay Apple, kay Chumchung, Samsung, um, sino pa that are uses to build competitive advantage by being unique in its industry? Sino ba? Well, it's a kind of service kasi si, ano eh, si Lazada and Shopee for me. So, they are not differentiated, not highly differentiated. Yung naisip ko dito actually, in terms of mga organically grown products, yes, it's a kind of differentiation strategy. But boy, it's hard to do organic farming um, because it's more labor intensive and the crops have to be grown under a greenhouse. So you have much, 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 um, input expense or capital expense. That's why before I was thinking, bakit kaya mahal yung mga ano, organically grown um, vegetables? Yung pala kasi, mahal din yung cost of inputs niya. It's differentiated, yes, but is there um, a large market for it? Actually, no. That's why um, it captures a certain, um, probably the AB market, a niche market. When we speak of capturing a certain group of people, it's called niche, N-I-C-H-E, niche market. Can you think of others? Differentiation strategy, a company that employs or a product or service that employs a differentiated kind of strategy. Well, aside from those that I have mentioned, well, aside from Toyota, they have the hybrid cars. I think it's a differentiated kind of product. Ay, yung mga ring lights natin, tsaka yung mga condenser ba? <laughs> Anyway, parang grabe lang yung sabi ko. Grabe, the Chinese basically produce everything. Napansin ko yung mga nabudol sa akin ng Shopee at saka ano, Lazada. Sabi ko, hindi na nga ako magpapatronize ng products galing China. Pero alam nyo, basically everything came from China. I don't know. Anyway, functional strategies designed and implemented in different business functions. Yun nga, diba? Dapat mga functional area. So, supports the business level strategies. Strategies implemented by functional departments. Examples are pricing and promotion strategies. Yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung mga uh, market penetration strategy, market development strategy by the marketing department. Use of innovation and automation by the product department. It can also be an example of a functional strategy. So for the step five, ito na yung implementation. There are two major trends related to implementations. Organizations are adopting more comprehensive view of implementation. Managers at all levels of the organization are being involved with the implementation process. So implementation generally involves four related steps. Define the strategic task, assess the organization's capabilities, develop an implementation agenda, create an implementation plan. So suppose that our department is planning for an international conference will uh, the, the faculty members be performing the tasks which are supposed to, to be outsourced? And if yes, how can, you, um, how can you expect them to perform given the instruction, research, and extension task or jobs given to them? Well, I think people can multitask, but then we can become more effective and efficient if we have this focus, right? So kahit kayo, di ba? Kaya minsan nakaka-burn out because... Alam niyo yun, parang too many things to do, so little time, and um, at the end of the day, with all the so many things that you're thinking of doing, you end up doing nothing. Well, anyway, that's it for the implementation strategy control. A system designed to support managers in evaluating the organization's progress regarding its strategy and when discrepancies exist, taking corrective action. So, question ko, when do you 
um, control prior, during, or after. Kunwari, di ba, nagtrabaho kayo sa Gardenia, tapos kayo yung QA or Quality Assurance Supervisor. Kasi mechanized na sa Gardenia eh, parang there's a low level of um, human intervention when it comes to producing their products. That's why, uh, di ba, fresh bread and ano, with little human interaction talaga or intervention. Kasi makinarya na yon. So, di ba, they have these big machineries. Um, I remember, you can search siguro sa YouTube how it operates dun sa mga big bread companies. Um, you have to do the controlling in all aspects, prior, during, and after the product or service had been produced. So, the organization must develop performance indicators. Yan, per performance indicators or parameters or KPIs. Key performance indicators and information system and specific mechanisms to monitor the progress. Normally includes the budget, of course. So, ano ba yung mga kailangan natin ngayon? Need for strategic flexibility. Right now, di ba? I, I have high regards for the youth of today, Gen Z, because you are the digital natives. Pero, of course, you also have to be open-minded in order to be able to absorb um, new knowledge, new knowledge or experience um, being shared to you. Kasi, yun nga, sabi nga natin, no man is an island. Ako, I consider myself a forever student of life. I may not know everything, maybe a little or something. And I, I just want to build on or capitalize on that to be able to um, share it to, to you, to our students, and constantly improve myself. So that's what you call Kaizen. Okay? Yun yung importante talaga sa mga organizations. Before, when I worked for a government agency, way, way back, um, sabi ko, ano ba naman yung mga matatanda dito? Parang inugatan na sila na gano'n na lang ginagawa. Pero narealize ko kasi it's part of um, the culture then, the organizational culture. And sabi ko nga, instead of noticing other people's mistakes, why not, di ba, evaluate yourself? So, yun na lang yung ginawa ko without me realizing na um, I'm becoming the person I detest to be. And that's really grave. So, important strategies of today's organization, e-business strategies, yan, very tumpak at uh, swak na swak yan ngayon. Customer service strategies, innovative strategies, diba? Um, I attended the launching of the softwares from UP System. Alam nyo, when I studied MS Environmental Science before, nag-aaral na ako ng GIS, pero I'm not really good at it. Pero I, I learned from the seminar, webinar na, Ginagamit talaga naman siya in all fields right now, even in history. Um, of course, lalo na sa agriculture, sa forestry. GIS is Geographic Information System. It's a kind of tool na wherein um, mas mabilis mo makita, bukod pa ito sa Google Maps, ha, um, kung ano yung situation. For example, sa agriculture, I don't know if you have heard of Phil LIDAR or Project NOAA. So those, um, the OST funded projects or programs rather um, have uh, an inventory of the natural resource system in terms of terrestrial and aquatic here in the Philippines. It's, and that's really very exciting. Um, I think it's made available to the public basta magsusulat ka dun sa agency and where you're going to use that. So for example, anong application na GIS or GIS tool or geographic information tool sa agribusiness? For instance, di ba? Um, Doon sa locality ninyo, ilan yung mga um, commercial and backyard farms dito in terms of kunwari, crop production and where are the other available areas for producing this specific crop. For example, sa San Pablo, where I am from, marami talaga dito dating coconut. Pero yung we have 80 barangays, around, um, if I'm not mistaken, 40 plus is, uh, the majority is rural barangay and then um, yung the rest ay ano, um, urban barangays na. So, of course, nasa rural barangays yung maraming mga coconut plantation. Ganun. So, meron pa ba? Is there still a room for growth? Or saturated na siya? Mga tipong ganyan. So, relevance of GIS in um, agribusiness. Um, that's actually my dream right now to have a dream laboratory where in all the management tools that we have for agribusiness and trip can be made available to there in that dream laboratory and somehow industry people and uh, from academe and other partners will uh, be given the best kind of service or advice may it be for yun nga, aquatic or terrestrial. So yun lang. And probably sana maging ano siya, di ba? University-wide as part of the future proofing activity. 
Anyway, planning tools and techniques. Techniques for assessing the environment. We have the environmental scanning, yun nga yung PESC, forecasting, yan, mga time series data analysis. This is very um, relevant to statisticians, di ba? Competitor intelligence, okay? Benchmarking, yun, best practices, Diba? comparing competitor intelligence para ka na rin dyan environmental scanning but it has to be more specific and defined. So, techniques for allocating resources. We have the so-called budgeting. Okay, your knowledge of your of managerial accounting or basic accounting will be very, very useful here, budgeting. And then we have also scheduling, done charts and low charts. So, we also have the so-called PERT or the Program Evaluation and Review Technique. Actually, we also have the Dunn Chart Activities wherein perhaps in your uh, own organization or in your own life, you're using that Dunn Chart. You have the activities here and then the timeline here. Um, it's very much useful, especially if you're going to implement a project. Tapos, yeah. Okay, so these are the examples. Ito yung example ng, ano, ng PERT. Program Evaluation Review Technique. Okay? Tama ba? Yes. It's the PERT. Parang yung gun chart na in-improve mo lang lalo. Yun yung PERT. So, ito yung maintenance planner. Parang relevant. Natutuwa ako pag pumunta ako sa mga manufacturing plants. Meron yung mga codes, tapos mga lines, lines. Yan, yung mga ganyan. Tapos, May mga images rin lang to show na o oh, ito nandito ka sa, ano, kunwari ay boiling, boiling department. So, yan. Um, what else? Yan, we also have the so-called break-even analysis in managerial accounting or interest accounting when you go to higher management. Yan yung mga, ano, um, Inaaral. Why is it important to know the break even? Of course, if you are the owner of the company or you are inside the organization, at what level should the company be operating? Should it continue operating? Yung mga management decisions or will it shut down? So LP linear programming is the allocation of your finite resources. So job or task of management information um, systems engineer or industrial engineer, yan yung mga task nila. So, contemporary planning techniques, project management, this is very important. The scenario planning, the optimistic most likely and pessimistic most likely and optimistic scenarios, okay? So, it comes with, of course, different information and as well as data. So, decision-making process, identification of a problem, decision criteria, weights to, ito yung decision criteria na commonly ginagamit sa cases, pero... Kaya nga gusto ko isali kayo dun sa international case competition to know or whether they are still using this or they are um, devising, developing other or using other tools or techniques. Analysis of alternatives through pros and cons, selection of an alternative, implementation of alternative, evaluating decision effectiveness. Siguro turuan ko kayo ng VRIO. Okay, it's also a kind of management tool to analyze your business case. Ayun. So, sabi nga, there is no perfect strategic decision. One always has to pay a price. One always has to balance conflicting objectives, conflicting opinions, and conflicting priorities. The best strategic decision is only an approximation and a risk. So, that's from one of the management gurus, Sir Peter Drucker, or Dr. Peter Drucker. So, that's all for today. And these are my references, our references. And again, Thank you for listening. So I hope you are better prepared when we will, when we have our exam next week, Thursday next next week. That's April twenty two. Make sure that you have a good internet connection, guys. And um, it's a one and a half hour um, exam. I'll be giving the link to your exam during our session. So okay, that's Thursday. Good internet connection, and then presence of mind. For as long as you studied, then you will be able to answer it with eyes closed in 30 minutes time. Okay, so 70% objective, 30% essay. So that would be all for today, guys. I hope you learned something. Bye. Okay.